Okay, so now we proceed with the uh, fourth part of uh, second chapter that is free body diagram and force system. Okay, free body diagrams are useful in analyzing forces acting on an object or system and are employed extensively in study and application of Newton's law of motion. A free body diagram is a sketch showing all the external forces acting on an object or system. The object or system is represented by single isolated body or free body diagram and only those forces acting on it that origin outside of the body that are shown. So um, the free body diagram is showing the force. The forces the forces that acting on uh, the body. So before we proceed with the free body diagram, we need to know the forces. Uh, we need to understand what is force. Uh, so force is um, a push or pull acting uh, upon an object as a result of its interaction with another object. So there are variety type of forces. Uh, and the main, uh, the forces can be divided by two main categories that is contact forces and action at distance forces. So for contact forces, we have applied forces, gravity forces, tension force, normal force, frictional force, air resistance force, spring forces. Uh, this contact forces means that this forces is contact to the object. This means, for example, we have a ball. This is applied forces. So, also have gravity forces and normal forces. So, this contact forces is at the contact of the object. But for action at distance forces, it's different. It's um, another forces that not really related to static and dynamic. Okay, for the first uh, force is applied force. What is applied force? Applied force is a force that is applied to an object by a person or another object. For example, if a, a person is pushing a desk across the room, then there is a applied forces acting upon the object. So, for example, here, this boy push the desk um, across the room. So, the applied forces is um, that's mean toward the toward the table. But if, uh, okay, for example, this is push. But if it, uh, it's pull the table, it also have the applied forces, but, but uh, it's uh, toward the person. So, this push and pull is the applied force and the second force is gravity force Gra uh, the force of gravity is the force which um, that's mean uh, another that's mean usually we use weight as the um, gravity force this is the weight of the object so all object upon earth experience a force of gravity that is down, directed downward directed downward toward the center of the earth the force of gravity on earth is uh, you always equal to the weight of the object as found by the equation um, gravity forces or we usually use w or weight as mass time by gravity Okay, for the gravity, this is a constant. This is constant that um, the, the value uh, we usually use uh, 9.81 or um, you also can use uh, this mean almost 10. So, I can accept both days. You um, can use uh, 9.81 or 10. And M is the mass of the object in kilogram. Okay, and the uh, third force is tension force. Tension force is a force along the line of the of a medium. 
in particular it is pulling force that act along a stretch uh, flexible connector such as rope or cable okay for this uh, rope cable um, wire pulley i will explain more in um, the next sub chapter okay the word tensions come from the latin means to stretch so the tension force is the force that is transmitted through string rope cable or wire when it is pulled tight by force acting from opposite end so for the tension force it usually um uh it is out this means uh, from the object the arrow is toward out of uh, the object so for example this tension um, of uh, this cable so uh, the arrow of the tension is out from the object and then we have normal force normal force is the support force exerted by an object is contact with another stable object there is a uh, the force is when it's contact with another stable object, we have normal force. So, if the force supporting the weight of an object or a load is um, perpendicular to the surface of contact between load and its no, uh, support. So, usually we use the symbol N. And uh, normal means perpendicular to the surface. Okay, this is important because... Uh, normal force is uh, perpendicular to the surface for example we have object like this so the normal force is toward up because this is 90 degree perpendicular to this um, to the surface of this object so uh, on flat surface and normal force is equal uh, equal mg or weight but in different direction, uh, weight toward down, downward, and uh, normal force toward outward. Okay, but this is different when we have, okay, this is on flat surface. But if we, uh, we have um, uh, inclined surface, the normal force is uh, 90 degree, that is perpendicular to the, perpendicular to the surface, but the weight always toward down so it's like this so the normal force is not same with mg for inclined surface so uh, normal force is the support force that uh, toward up and we also have a uh, frictional force or friction force the friction force is the force exerted by a surface as an object move across it so the is move so if it's move it have um it have friction force so there are at least two type of friction force that is slide sliding and static so um but this is uh based on the uh situation of that surface okay uh, through it was uh, not always the case the friction force often opposes the motion of the object so for example for example a uh, flat surface like this so we have um, um, we have the applied force here a platform here a platform toward right and um, we have normal force toward up uh, gravi gra uh, gravitational force toward down and friction force is opposed the motion of the object for example if the force applied toward right the for the object should move toward right but um, the frictional force is toward left the arrow is uh, here so um, 
for the basic knowledge is that for if f a more than f f so the object will move but if the uh, f a is same or um, less than f f so the object is static not move Okay, uh, friction results from the two surfaces being pressed together closely, causing uh, the intermolecular attraction force between molecule at different surface. So, this is the physics why uh, we have the uh, friction, frictional force. And the, and the uh, formula for the frictional force is mu f. So, mu is the constant, the frictional coefficient and f normal is uh, n okay and uh, the thick uh, contact force is a resistant force so the a resistant is a special type of frictional force that act open object as they travel uh, through the air okay so um, um, for previous previous forces usually it at um, surface or it hanging but not move um, through the air but for example for example is hot balloon or parachute the uh, this hot balloon the this parachute will go down so we have the a resistant of uh, oppose the the direction of the movement so this is the a resistant force okay the last one is a uh, spring force the spring force is the force as it by a compressed or stretched spring open any object that is attached to it so um, an object that's composed or stretched a spring is always act open uh, by a force that restore the object to its rest or equilibrium. So, the formula is Fs equal negative Kx with K is spring constant and X is uh, spring stress or compression. Okay, so uh, you already know the um, force. That's been the, um, all type of the forces. So, uh, to anal uh, analyze a system or certain situation, we need to draw free body diagram that is, uh, the short form is FBD. So, uh, free body diagram must include only external forces acting on the body of interest. So, this is a uh, keyword for free body diagram because for certain situation we have many many uh, many connection in the system but for free body diagram we only need to draw at the body of interest and then after you draw the accurate free body diagram then you can apply uh, Newton first law if the body is in equilibrium so this one is applied in static and uh, if the body is accelerating so we apply second law the is in dynamic so how to draw the free body diagram first draw the boundary of chosen section and separate it from all other particles. Okay, so uh, you need to know what uh, what boundary of uh, the problem that you want to solve it, and then put external forces acting on the bond on the particle. For particle with mass, put the weight equal to mg, or this is gravitational force and this uh, weight is vertically downward for a particle touching a surface there is a normal force acting perpendicular 
to the surface and directing toward the uh, particle towards the particles mean outside this mean um this mean for um mg is toward downward and n toward outside is uh, because this is toward the particle okay let uh, see for example Okay, an example for a uh, free body diagram of external forces. For example, we have a system like this. So, uh, there are two forces applied at this um, chosen section. So, um, where draw, first is draw the boundary of the chosen section. So, we want to choose uh, this section. And then input all external force acting on the particle. So uh, we need to assume this is um, the center. So we have F1 and F2 with the certain uh, degree. So we will get this is the free body diagram of uh, this condition. And how about if the um, the system have mass? So if it have mass, it will have the uh, gravitational gravity or weight. So weight equal mg. So g is uh, the gravitational constant. Same uh, as previously, that you need to draw the boundary of chosen section. For example, here, here is a um, rope. So, there is mean uh, this object hanging uh, on the ceiling with two rope. So, this rope have tension, tension force. You usually use ST. Uh, so, this tension force is based on uh, definition before it is uh, stretched outward from the object so the arrow is outward from the object so we have t1 and t2 so the object have the gravitational forces and also t1 and t2 so the free body diagram become like this and how about the um, object on inclined surface so for object on inclined surface um, same as uh, before but for this one we have the normal um, normal forces and also the applied forces and friction forces so uh, this um, normal forces perpendicular to the surface and weight is uh, vertically downward so the forces toward up the applied forces and friction forces opposite to the uh, applied forces ok um, there is a, uh, for the pulley system it's applied tension but uh, several cases have different uh, different free body diagrams so we will see how the pulley system uh, free body diagram so um, okay, as uh, mentioned before rope and cable are used to transmit force and the force is always tension so it's used T rope and pulley are considered incapable of transmitting compression so always tension uh, and pulley usually assumed to be uh, frictionless so we uh, the the pool, we not consider friction in pulley system and also dimension of the pulley are neglected so there are three main type of uh, pulley system that is fixed pulley because uh, the pulley is fixed here fixed to the uh, to the top so um, to to take up this object, uh, we need to pull this rope. 
and uh, the second type is movable pulley so um, this pulley is movable because when we pull this rope uh, it's pulled up but uh, this pulley uh, is movable and also compound pulley where um, two of them is uh, fixed and one of them is um, is movable so this is combination of fixed and movable pulley okay how to draw the free body diagram of um, of pulley okay for example here this is uh, okay we want to uh, draw the free body diagram at a at this point so here we have tension out from the from pulley so we have t here and t here and then we have weight here go to mg so um, we consider this boundary therefore it become 2t because t plus t become 2t so it's become uh, 2t and then we also when we analyze this uh, for example, if uh, you want to know what is the value for t, so 2t, uh, two, sorry, 2t two equal mg, so t equal mg over 2. So you can solve like this. Okay, there is condition where the pulley looks like this. But here, okay, this is what you want to... Um, Okay, for example, here, the first is uh, for free, free body diagram, we need to draw the boundary of chosen section. Chosen sections mean which section you want to solve it. For example, here, we have two pulley. For example, this is A and this is B. But we um, only want the free body diagram at A. So we only consider the full, uh, free body diagram here. So here, same as uh, before, it becomes 2T MG. But for here, if uh, if the question is want to know the value of uh, this mean the free body diagram at B it's become to D like this only and then if you want to solve then to T equal MG so this is at B okay and uh, this one is um movable this is a uh, compound there is uh, one is movable and one is fixed so for this condition uh, the question want to know the free body diagram at b so b is here so we have t okay for this one uh okay we have the value of this this force this uh, actually this is t but this t uh, already have value of p so uh, because it use the same rope this one also p but uh, the direction is the direction is out of this pulley and then this one also be here because it have the same the same rope so here also be so that's why it's become 2p and another one is p and we also have the weight here.
Okay, uh, okay, this one is different because the P is here. It's going until here. So, this one have P. But this one is not P. This is T. Because it's different rope or different cable. So, uh, the free body diagram at B is P plus T. With the same angle. And then, the end of the side is T. And also, we have the uh, 